pretty much everyone hates managing passwords. But did you know that if you're using an Apple device, a Mac, an iPhone, an iPad, there's built-in password management called iCloud Keychain that can make this all much easier. In this video, I'm going to show you how that works. We'll start on a Mac and then switch to an iPad so you can see both. Whenever you create a new account on an app or website, you're going to have a username and a password. So something like this will happen the first time you do that on a Mac. Apple will offer to create a strong password for you. You don't have to use theirs, you can use your own. But either way, once you've entered the password, a pop-up will show up that says, do you want to save this password? When you do that, it's being stored in iCloud Keychain, which is great because anytime you go to that app or that website, your login information can automatically fill in for you like this. So that's very helpful, but if I've forgotten the password, I can't actually see it. What most people don't realize is it's very easy to see the passwords that are saved in iCloud Keychain. Let's take a look. If you're using a Mac, open Safari. Now bear in mind you can't do this with Firefox or Chrome, it has to be Safari. Then click Safari in the menu bar at the top of the screen and choose Preferences. When the Preferences pane opens, choose the Passwords tab right here and then log in with the password for your user account on this computer, not your Apple ID password. And here we are. This is the list of the passwords for different websites and apps that are stored in Keychain. This particular list is short because it's just a demo account, but if yours is long, click in the search box up here and just start typing the name of the website you're looking for. It's that easy. Notice that some of these sites have yellow triangles next to them. We'll come back to that in a moment. But if I want to see a password for any of these sites, all I have to do is click on it and it shows me the password. Super easy. Right-clicking here will give me the option to copy the name of the website or the username or the password. And if I double-click on this line, it'll give me more information like why the yellow triangle is there, because it's warning me that I'm breaking one of the cardinal rules of passwords. Either I've reused this password on another site, or I'm using a password that's too easy to guess. So those yellow triangles can help you avoid some of the most common mistakes people make with passwords. If your passwords aren't showing up, go to System Preferences, choose iCloud, and then in iCloud, scroll down and make sure that Keychain is checked. That's what allows those passwords to sync among your various devices. Now let's take a look at how this works on an iPad or an iPhone. Start by clicking Settings, and then in Settings, scroll down to Passwords and Accounts. Click on Passwords and Accounts, and then make sure that Autofill Passwords is turned on, as you see here. When I click on Website and App Passwords, the first choice at the top here, I first need to get past the security, so that could be Touch ID or your passcode or Face ID, depending on your device. Which is a great thing, because the minute I get past the security, I can see the list of all the passwords I have saved in iCloud Keychain. And just like on the Mac, since your list is probably longer than this, if you want to find a particular login, all you have to do is click in the search box up here and start typing the name of the site you're looking for. If your sites aren't showing up, then just like on the Mac, you need to go into your iCloud settings to fix it. So go back to settings, tap on your name, tap on iCloud, and then in iCloud, scroll down and tap on Keychain, and make sure it's turned on. That's all there is to it. Remember that just because a password is saved in Keychain doesn't mean it's correct. If you change the password and you haven't resaved it in Keychain, that list may not be accurate. So just keep that in mind. Thanks for watching. Please click like if you found this helpful and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this.